Breast abscess is actually very simple. Just few things. Breast abscess don't come uh, out of nowhere. You always start with number one, block ducts, mastitis, abscess, or straight away mastitis without block duct but followed by abscess. So you see, abscess don't form overnight. It takes time to form. Then why do these women still come to us with abscess? The answer is quite simple. It's all because no antibiotics were given early enough. Now the keyword is early enough. Some of them got the antibiotic only after they already have the abscess, which is too late. But in the first place, as I said, no women should have breast abscess. No women. When you have breast abscess, it's always due to something wrong somewhere. Something that someone did wrongly. It's not necessarily the breastfeeding mother. Every time a mother comes to me with breast abscess, it only means one thing. She came to me too late. Why? At many levels, something would have happened. Number one, when she had blocked ducts, what did she do? Did she come and see me? No, she did not. She maybe went to see a lady who does breast massage, someone who massaged the breast. Or she may actually engage a lactation consultant when her breast was blocked, which also will do the breast massage. But sometimes you must understand, breast that has blocked ducts more than 48 hours, anything more than 48 hours, if you don't start on antibiotic, you are going to get mastitis already. So if you see a lactation consultant and she managed to unblock, but it blocked again, maybe after 6 hours, 12 hours, it's blocked again, then you need to start antibiotics already. Can the lactation consultant give you antibiotics? No, unless she's also a doctor. If you go and see the, the lady who does massage, do you think she can give you antibiotics? No. So the key thing number one is, you must start antibiotic within 48 hours from the beginning of your blocked duct. So if you go and see anyone else, many, very often I notice, they will go and see this lady to unblock. Let's say this lady successfully unblocked for her. Then after half a day, it blocked back. Then she will wait another day or two. It will still block. Then she will see the lady again to unblock again. That is the problem. Because already more than 48 hours, this problem is not settled. If you do not start antibiotics, there is a very high chance your mastitis is going to come already. Then there's another problem with mothers in general. When you ask them to start antibiotic, then they're thinking, are you I'm breastfeeding? Can I take medicine? Will the antibiotic affect my baby? You know, they think so much. They think so much up to the extent by the time they come and see a doctor, it's too late already. So the first mistake is the delayed starting of antibiotic after a blocked duct. Then the second is when mastitis already come. How to know whether it's mastitis or blocked duct? Honestly, how to know? Not much difference, honestly, because some blocked ducts also have fever. Although mastitis can have fever, also can have no fever. Blocked duct also can have pain. Mastitis usually will have pain, but sometimes also no pain. So sometimes you can't tell the difference. So when you have mastitis or you know something is not right, there are some mothers who actually will go and see a doctor. When you go and see a doctor, there are two outcomes. One is the doctor say, hey, you have mastitis or your blood duct looks not so healthy. Better on the safe side, start antibiotic. Oh, thank God she start antibiotic for you early. But there's also another outcome. Some doctors that you see will just tell you, this is just blocked duct. La. You go and see a, a massage lady, you go and see a lactation consultant, or you go and see my nurse, she will express a meal for you and your problem sector. You don't need antibiotic. I often see that. I often see that. Because when I get abscess cases, I will ask them why so late. Some of them will tell me, I went to see the doctor, but doctor never give me antibiotic. So some doctors also may not give you antibiotics because they miss the diagnosis of mastitis. It is also something I see very often. That is one problem. That's another problem. Many doctors too, they do not do ultrasound scan for you. They do not do at all. So because mastitis after a few more days form abscess. Abscess is when they have pus. If you have that incy wincy little pus, that little bit of pus inside, antibiotic would work. But if you have a lot of pus, then of course antibiotic won't work. But a lot of doctors, they do not do ultrasound scan. So they also don't know whether you have pus or not. So basically, if it gives you antibiotic, but they never see whether you have passed or not. So once again, it could be delayed. Or the worst thing is I've seen cases where the pass is already there, doctor didn't do an ultrasound scan, don't know that it's a pass, think that it's still blocked up, and send you to the lactation nurse or the lactation consultant. That is worse. And then she thought it's just blocked up. And then the poor consultant or poor nurse will be expressing and expressing and it cannot pass out the 
cannot clear the block duct. So called cannot clear. Your so called cannot clear the block duct. You must think, is it an abscess already? <laughs>